In this video, I want to just go over the Pepper Blast animation here. So this is one of our uh, signature animations, it was an original version of Kinetic Text Animator. And uh, it just, what it does is it can do one word or multiple words at a time. Uh, so multiple words, you have the option for phrases or words. You see here that by doing words, I just really could just copy and paste it in and it could quickly make an animation. I did specify a font here and of course I could change that. This is a, uh, an animation that uses just one font at a time. This is one of the animations that you can specify where that uh, the animation is going to appear. I'll talk about that more in a second. And you can of course use different colors, but in this case, you know, you're really gonna use usually only just one, uh, something like that. Now um, I can change it and I can reapply it and have it a different color. Um, actually, come to think of it, you can, uh, I can come in here and I can apply different colors as well and it will randomly uh, select one of those colors. So another thing that you uh, should be aware of, if you click on the information tab, you'll find out that there's a couple of things here that you can you see here. Now the word length, the longer the word is, the longer it stays. So if it's a phrase, the phrase is going to stay there longer. So uh, in other words, if you have a 10 letter phrase or a 12 letter phrase, it's going to stay there longer than uh, one that only has maybe a two or three words. So it's designed to make it uh, more legible. The more letters there are, the, the little bit longer it's going to take to read. And so that's what that's there for. Uh, you can, if it adds, a, if you add a period or a question mark at the end, it also adds a little pause. Then there's this option right here where you can add a tilde with a, a something like 1.5 or uh, whatever and so what that's going to do is that's going to make so if this is set to 120 it would add uh, 60 or half again uh, over what it was so if it's 100 it would be 150 in other words so um, you can so you that way you can have the, the sizes now you're going to want to do something like that if you're doing something like this you know you could do something like tilde 2 so that's going to be two times as big as the rest of them and so forth so um, <clears throat> base is going to be twice as big as that number. Uh, so the, you do have the option for drop shadow here. Now I want to talk about just the, the use of this. One of the, the I find that it's better to use this particular animation when you're just doing about a sentence or two. Uh, really more like I try to do about a sentence. Um, and so you know the, the words are coming at them uh, and they can't, you know, they're not seeing the word prior to it and the word after, you know, they're just, it's one word at a time. So it's the sort of thing that is, you know, it, it provides a little bit of contrast to some of those where the letters are stay on there, something like, um, well, really most of these other ones, a magnetic message, all those kind of, the, the letters are kind of there. Uh, codex swing does kind of work a little bit similarly to Pepper Blast, um, it, you know, if you set it up in a certain way. But um, th in this case, you're seeing one word at a time, and they zoom in and go out. And so, you know, you, you want to. This is a very pretty good in bite-sized chunks. I like to use it in uh, with images where there's kind of an, a, a space. You know, like this is a really good one because the the subject matter is pointing. And so, if you put it right here, and that would, you know, if you did something where you adjusted the the screen area to something like that. That's going to center just about right there. And so if I do that, let's go ahead and just uh, drop that image in here. And if I change the, the side, this position of this to this, and then go ahead and animate it, we're going to see that block. Let's see. Now that block is showing up over here, so I need to move it over. So that it's going to start at the beginning. But if I select this message, put it up here, and then animate it again, I have to, have to I need to have this selected. Uh, then it's going to put it kind of right in this area here. Now you can see here that by the, by doing that, I really do need to change this font to some something different. Uh, let's do something maybe like this, um, and then animate it and. So you can see what's really good about this is the finger is pointing to it, and so it's drawing the attention to it even more. Uh, but it's also kind of taking place in an empty spot. So something like that um, in in this image, maybe this where the sky is. Uh, in this image, maybe where the fireworks are. And just kind of, you know, it, it feels a little bit better when it's in a space that's kind of empty. 
um, and so forth. So if I was uh, using this boat with a ship, I might put it about right here. Um, so in other words, if I was using the select screen area, I might do something like that. Okay. So anyways, but that's that's basically how you want to use uh, the Pepper Blast. Um, do check out this for more information on this. Um, I mainly just want to cover best usage. Uh, the fonts are something, oh, I also find one last kind of tip there is, you don't want to use a font that is um, hard to read, you know, real, like I noticed that I did something really bold here. If I did something with, um, with thinner lines, it would be like something like this. Uh, it would be much more difficult so to, to read. So let's do that here. And if we do that, you see here, it's just really, it's kind of more difficult to read because the letters are smaller. So I recommend that you uh, do something uh, with big, bigger, bolder letters because this font is gonna be coming right at you and you really need to be able to kind of, you know, have your reader be able to see it and read it quickly and easily. And uh, the bolder it is, the better.